Hello everybody, welcome back to Cyberbank 2077, where last time we finished off Brendan's The Schism Machines questline, and it was a sad one, I can say, it was one of the characters I felt, yeah, bad, that we lost, but what can you do? And we also progressed to this questline, specifically we did the quest named Isis, was it? Something like that, which I fucked up, then the game messed up and crashed, and then I redid so we could get a better outcome. Now I'm guessing Judy will contact us in a few days to give us the next part of the questline. Let's check out our map. I think for now we only have main questlines on there like Takemura and the Paralysis and Riverwoods questline and um, I think down the line we will open up a few for Tony uh, with Rogue and Carry something like that. We will open up a quest to return Skippy to someone, but I can't remember which one, and maybe a couple more here and there, but we will see. For today, let's go visit Jefferson Perales and see what he needs from us. The quest is named Dreamon. Yeah, yeah. And if I recall correctly, Jefferson told us that this is a private matter that he wants our help with. Maybe not something concerning his uh, electional campaign and all that, but the missus seems to be on the nose, seems to be expecting us as well. So maybe it's a family matter or something like that? Let's see, let's see, let's wait for the elevator to get us there and we'll find out soon enough. Like, oh my, look at the minimap. Damn. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, Elizabeth. Come on, Jeff will explain everything. Cool, cool, let's go meet with Zeph. He's just about done prepping for the debate. Uh-huh. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, Fantastic. Bother us to do my exactly. platform. I'm not doing a you YouTube just because Night Corp. Just so you know, no, I am happily betrothed to Pana. Oh, calm down, Zefferson. I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll pow out later. V. Glad you could make it. Glad to be here. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. Of course, let's sit on the couch. And did I get a message? Breaking. Not the usual kind, though. Oh, so what do you mean? How? Elizabeth? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Mm-hmm. No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No. Oh. No trace of him the morning after. Maybe you got the cyber hack? Like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Okay, so why me though? Why me of all people? When you rather have a detective look into it? Yeah, like River. He seems capable. Contacts. Mm -hmm. Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that. Mystery. Well, I did have help. The aforementioned I River World. I be able to crack this one as well. Okay, did you notify the police yet? Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know, NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. Uh -huh. If we reported a break in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. You've got a point the there. Gotcha. But... Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. I see, I see, but wouldn't that help you a bit with uh, your campaign, like, ooh, people don't want us uh, alive, so maybe you should all vote for us because we are breaking chains that most people don't want. Something like that. Okay, we have a corporate option here. Why do you hire such a small security firm? SSI is pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arisaka or Militech? Well, maybe that's it's exactly the reason. Aha. On the bright side, we're not dependent on any mega corporations. That you tell of. So we have four main choices. SSI, have anything to say? Describe the intruder for me. When did you come to? When did you regain consciousness? Anything missing from the apartment? I we think we can... Delay too long. Elizabeth, please. I think we will be able to use all of these. Let's start with the first one. Security looking at this. Say anything. This is where things get a little weird. Explain. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. That's weird. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. I Convenient don't think so. Answer. Yeah. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. That was a bad idea. 
Uh, so, can you describe this intruder for me? What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Mm -hmm. Or was it an implant? I can't really get a good look at him. Can you describe it Elizabeth even a bit? Didn't see him either. I don't trust Elizabeth. I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. You got a point there. When did you regain consciousness? Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. Okay, dude. Nothing to be what sad then? or ashamed about. Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boon. Any hmm. idea how you made it back to your bed? Yeah, exactly. No, none. Elizabeth had a loss too. Maybe the intruder was kind enough to take you to bed. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This um security outfit, SSI. Who are they? And how much do you trust them? Been on the market the last fifteen years. They have clients across the city. Mm -hmm. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Can't rule that out. Could be, could also be somebody behind SSI, yeah. Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival. Fighting for the same seat at the table. Yeah, see? Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Mm -hmm. Jeff has many enemies. A lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see, I see. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Okay, anything else I should know? Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope, that about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Okay, so I mean, let's please. get I'm investigating, sure I guess. Else. So, you got all you need for now? Yeah, I guess so. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Of course, Jefferson. You seem like a good guy, and Elizabeth seems like a fine girl too, but... Yeah, one of you isn't Hello. telling the whole let truth. Show you around. Of course, darling. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. Mm-hmm. Right here on the balcony. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. You mean the luxury Politics. you're living in? So far, we've managed to effectively. Let me just use my thingy here. Nightcorp, okay. Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. You've got a point there. Anything. Jeff's office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's start taking things out. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Ah, well, what can you do? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I see. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, yeah, that that's what I was going to say. Way. It could be used against you. Uh, tight bites. What was that? <laughs> tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. Mm hmm Okay, done with this. Anything we can do with this one, because the yellow thing is still on. And there's something on the other side too. What's this over here? Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Hmm, okay, I guess that makes sense. What's that over there? So much takeout. Do update the exam in the apartment. I'm going this to use Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. You never know, girl. Jefferson Perales. Or mayor. Commercial. Cool, cool. 
You can pay an ad. You know what, Leia? I hate this commercial. I really do a gun shooting a stack of legislation. Doesn't get crudder than this. What happened to running a campaign based on dignity? Uh, on giving my voters the respect they deserve. Jeff, with all due respect to you and your voters, these commercials are wedged between Watson Hole and Guns N' Roses. These commercials need to communicate with voters in a language they understand. Mr. Perales, your wife has informed my employees that you intend to hire a mercenary in regard to the dubious circumstances surrounding Mayor Ryan's untimely death. I understand your concern, but I can assure you it is best to leave the matter to the police. Should you have reservations as to the police integrity, please consider allowing my people to look into it. On behalf of my team, I can assure total and complete discretion. Okay, it's for security. I need you to pass a closer glance at some key aspects of the program, in particular suggestions concerning the anti corporate stance, blah, blah, blah. Uh, your tax emails can sometimes be seriously annoying. As your chief advisor, I've obliged to tell you this. The question of sincerity. Yeah, yeah, not much here. Jeff, could you explain to me why Leia is still here? By Eric Busser. I thought we let her go. Did something change? I don't follow what I'm talking about. Well, she's just here like nothing happened. She sent me a new ad today that apparently you approved. I'm going crazy or something. Eric, what the hell are you talking about? Who told you to fire her? Because it most definitely wasn't me. If you got something against her, then speak up. As far as I'm concerned, Leia stays. Not like she was going anywhere to begin with. Pull yourself together, Eric. Okay, must be imagining things. Forget I brought it up. Ooh, this Eric person seems a bit suspicious. And what do we have here? Avian Extermination Act. The AEA was adopted by the Night City Council on May 4th, 2063. Purpose in the face of increasingly frequent and deadly zoonotic disease outbreaks, the City Council has decided that the most effective method for reducing the risk of infection amongst residents is, the, is via the extermination of all avian life within 18, mile, 18 miles of the city. See figure 1. The extermination process will begin on May 7th, 2063, once the call and selection of centers for the contract have been completed. See Annex 2. Yeah, we were mentioned that earlier that uh, all birds were gone. Uh, was it uh, Placid that mentioned it? Diplomas. Asukaga, Berkeley. Hmm. Classy. You and Jeff graduate from the same school? Must have been expensive. We were lucky. On full scholarships, funded by the Knight Foundation. Oh, how the very nice. Founded by Richard Knight's widow. Uh -huh. They helped a lot of underprivileged kids with ambitions. Okay, nothing else you can say. There's something here. Messages, not the net. That's campaign. Oh, this is your communication with your daughter. Sorry to intrude. Ooh, Judy. Dear Miss Alvarez, I'm writing to you on behalf of Jeff. There is a sensitive matter for which could really use your skill and expertise. Full disclosure, I'm hoping they'll return the favor. Jeff once did for the mocks. Can we count on you? Ooh. Jefferson help with the mocks is. I'm not sure if I can right now. Can I ask what this is about? It's about a certain brain dance, I'll be honest. The matter is of a highly delicate nature and discretion as much as professional alliances is paramount for us. Time is also of the essence, so I'm hoping you for a prompt reply. It goes without saying that we'll be well compensated. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, I would if I could. My hands are really tight at the moment. I know someone you can call. He's a merc, non quantity of the afterlife. Does prim tier work. Call him V. I'm sure he will help. Thank you for the referral. Okay, so this is how they contacted us. And Judy did until tell us about that. Hey, Liz. Ooh, Eric is on a nickname, on a pet name basis with Elizabeth. Sorry to bother you. But did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Leah Patel? One day we're both in agreement that she has to go. The next day when I bring it up, he says he has no idea what I'm doing about. To be honest, this whole situation baffles me a bit. Uh, don't worry about Jeff explained everything to me. The truth is what we agreed on just slipped his mind. Plain and simple. Stress, I presume. In any case, certain circumstances have changed in favor of Leia remaining where she is. Please excuse Jeff and let's all just put this matter behind us. Understood. Thanks for clarifying. This Leia person is now... Suspicious instead of this Eric person. Okay, this is your private bedroom. Sorry, I have to do my job in here. Ooh, this seems big. No, no, it's on this the other is side. Where we sleep. I thought so. Mind if I have a look? Anything changing here? Anything yeah. Different in here after the break in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Yeah, and Anything he was brought out of the back to bed. Bedding, its arrangement. 
Any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Cool, cool. Do you care if I look around? If I take a look around. Be my guest. Cool. So, wedding photo? Wedding pic. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. Well, I guess if you have the money. Blue roses. What? You sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Yeah, indeed. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Elizabeth. You seem suspicious again. Ooh, nice bathtub. Anything we can examine in here? I will steal your med supplies. Ooh, something there. Is this Jeff's gun? Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Okay, can we further examine it? Don't. Oh, no, no, something there. Fresh gunpowder residue, recently fired shots. Cool, let's explore the rest of the apartment. So we're done with the bedroom. Uh, anything in here? Oh, there's something. Blood stains. Chemical residue. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Can we get anything from it? Cleaning solvents detected last used within 24 hours. Okay, okay. Ooh, and something here. Bullet holes. So... Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Yeah. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. So Jefferson did indeed fire his gun. And somebody tried to patch this up, but I'm guessing an intruder that was in here to, you know, mug you or steal your things or had other ideas like that in mind, wouldn't bother with that. Plus, it was Jefferson's gun, so... Yeah, and this is not something that can be done, like, you know, you have a bit of plaster and you cover this and go away, you need to apply the plaster and then sand it down, no, scrub it down and then paint it over. Yeah, uh, somebody who was working here, unless this future has auto-healing walls or something like that. Elizabeth, you are getting more and more suspicious. Follow the blood trail. No, 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 we're not done, Elizabeth. Yeah, there's the blood trail. I'm guessing they went through here, yeah. And somebody has scrubbed the blood off. Because we only have the residue. TV is broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it though. Johnny? Oh. Did I do it? What's going on? What was that? No fucking clue. Felt kinda good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. Do we have like Does an electronic a implant? The uh, in imprint? I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No? What? Okay, never mind. Okay then. All blood over here. I'm guessing that was important. All the blood trail. Scan to find where the trail of blood leads. That's that's what I'm doing, game. Oh, secret room. First aid kit. Somebody tried to pass themselves up. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. And you, don't forget you. Ooh, let's steal a bottle of wine. Violated our privacy. Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Oh, 
And this is behind the screen. Talking to yourself again? Any more of those freaks? More and more. Oh, Ever since this terrorist started, something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. I still don't completely trust you. Scan to find where the blood trail is. Also, yeah, damn. This security firm must have a lot of scratch to have set up like this, huh? I mean, they're getting paid by Jefferson. What's it for? Johnny? Connected to the wall mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Yeah. Scan the strange computer. Follow the cables. We have to go upstairs, up the ladder. I guess so. Let me check around, because there is something weird going on here. No. Mm-hmm. Following the cables. Oh, there we go. God. Tech's practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Yeah, and also all tech like would be weird war. to hack with uh, this kind of technology. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Exactly. Line of sight. Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Yeah, let's do that. Find the transmission source. Okay, so it's there. Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Got to be our winner. Probably. Elizabeth. Elizabeth is within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Yeah, let's let's go find her. Yeah. Oh, she's down the stairs. Okay, that was an interesting detective session. Um, where are you, girl? I wouldn't sit there if I were you. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. Well, about that. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSIs. Yeah, could be. Could be. Tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Like really old. To check it? Yeah. Yeah. About to pay them a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Why? Sure. Whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember, it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. Well. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I Keep that in mind. don't like your insistence on that, but. Yeah, it's the busiest of times for him, but I mean, staying alive is important. You know, could be busy with that. Oh, we have to go upstairs. And through here. Leave the apartment. Well, I'm trying game. Oh, there. There we go. And I think we are in the main floor now. Yeah, the elevator. Cool, cool. Riding the elevator down. So we have this weird uh, small-scale security they have hired. Uh, SSI, was it? I think. And turns out they have been monitoring them, like, weirdly and creepily through their own apartment, from within their own apartment. Elizabeth seems very insistent and all that to talking to her and not Jefferson. Jefferson did indeed fire his gun on the perpetrator, on the invader, but something's wrong here. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. Yeah, you've got a point there. Let me just call my fancy car. There it is. Don't hit me, my own car. Okay, this is possibly leading to a chase sequence. Ooh, I also have a message from Wakako. I missed you, Wakako. You crazy old lady. Cars for sale. Screw you, Akako. I don't need any car now. Oh. 
So I'm keeping the recording on. Something might happen while we get there. Johnny might say something. But yeah, I'm ready for a chase. Okay, maybe I will get out of the car. And can we open the door? Nope. So, hello. Ah, shit. Using this old car I find here. And we like plant a tracker on it. Oh, now you're interested. Okay, okay, this is not the best car I could have chosen. No, don't make me do this again, please. Okay, at least I know how to position myself if I have to do it again. And of course it just had to be raining. You. Then who? Then who what? Game. Load properly, please. Bring us to north side. They're taking us into north side. This can't end well, Johnny. Why though? You have to explain me. Or Johnny. Oh, connect to the van's access point. Oh, shit. Maniac. Yeah, go to sleep because I have a thing to do here, yes? It's the protocol. The sound still haven't loaded in, but sure. Okay, the game freaked out a bit there, but it's okay. Let's ping everything and turn it off as well. And there's somebody up there. Yes, yeah, short circuit. It's okay. I don't think I have enough for anything. But sure, let's breach your protocol again. 1C7 AFF. Boom, boom. Kaboom. Oh shit, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot at. And I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Uh, short circuit. Can't wait for... System reset to reload. Ooh. And here you were thinking this will be a boring episode. Such a weakling. Where are you? I think it's at least two of you still. Uh, system reset needs more RAM. We should wait for that. Somebody shooting at me. Take that. A bit. Can't even use short circuit on you. There 
There you are. Short circuit. Take it. And screw you. There's one up there. And more coming from the back. Shit. Take some grenades. I'm dying. The grenades worked, apparently. Nah, don't use short circuit yet. Ping you, ping you if I can. One up there, two up there. Well, you are going to... No, you're not. Stop shooting at me, I want to kill you. That's not fair. I'm the protagonist. There's one right on top of me. One there. What? Okay, that was interesting to say the least. Oh, shit. Okay, doing this again. Cool, we're done. We're finally done. Let's connect to the access point and see what we can get. More cameras. Who cares? We killed everybody. I don't think this could have been done on the silent. Well, maybe. Maybe, but I didn't feel like waiting. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Yeah. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Yeah. The scans, the paralysis. A very medical Biological database. Cats, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Indeed. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. God damn it. You say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politician. Yeah, you were right all along. Mm -hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. This is exactly the shit you wanted, Fuck Johnny. Me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Exactly. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. And they know it's Why us. They also know who. Yeah, I'm sure they know who. So we have to go back to... No, no, we have to report to Elizabeth through the phone. V, do you have any news? Oh, sister, you wouldn't even believe me. I want to sit down for this. It's... Um... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait, not on the hollow. Yes, it has right, a point, V. I'll come by. Okay. No. You and I... Oh? We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. All right. right. See you there. Cool, this video is going to be a little bit longer, but it was worth it. I mean, I had to do the chase sequence twice and also the fight again, but yeah, we're getting something juicy here. See you all when I reach the ramen shop. Elizabeth chose uh, a very populated market to meet with us. I'm guessing she has something really important on the has has she wants to tell us. Oh, it's the shop that we went to find the records. Yeah, okay. I'm meeting a friend. There she is. So, Liz. Will you sit? Yes, of course. Tell me what you know. Thank you for coming. Yes. Why are we meeting here instead of your apartment? Yeah, let's go with the first one. Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Go on. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Uh, has something happened since last we met? Yeah. It wasn't that long ago since we last it met. It was like earlier this day. Since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. Tell me about it. It's a long story. 
I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? At the beginning. Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. How so? His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Oh. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Well, that last one can happen, okay? Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. Oh, okay, that's not that's something you forget. Thinking something bad was happening, something insidious, and not just with Jeff. Okay, did you notice any changes in you? Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. I question reality every day, every single minute of every day. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. Okay, so how do we deal with them? Concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. Okay. Okay, that's even weirder. I find that terrifying. I understand why. Have you talked to Jeff about all this? Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed. Jeff, so was that's not things. cool. It's your wife here. Come on, dude. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on. Swear to God. He went on about it in such detail. I almost started believing him. I could see. Be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Yeah, that could also happen. I don't know anymore. Yeah, yeah, okay, don't calm down, girl, that? calm down. Is that it? Do you have anything else to say? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. Uh huh. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I see. Why didn't you tell Jefferson right away? I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? Mm-hmm. And then, the next day, I got a call. And then things got interesting. What? Them. Whoever they are. How did they present themselves? There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. I see. They threatened you or they offered you a deal? No, 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 no. Let's not question Elizabeth about uh, her loyalty to her husband and all that. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble... Okay, that's Jeff a straight up threat. Accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. Which means they have access so to everything. V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Why? His life depends on it. But... Okay, why do you want... to not tell him? You were lying the whole time? Not exactly. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe. And that and I can believe and accept, and yes. But that's what they want you to know. No. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. And then he'll he go mad about, about this. this. Yeah. It'll destroy him. He will go mad about this, perhaps, possibly bother some people that he shouldn't bother, maybe even consume himself with paranoia, lose the election, lose Did everything he worked for. Yeah, I see what you mean. Really want to keep living life, Jeff I don't know. Yeah, don't you believe that your husband will win the fight? You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think, I know. One thing hasn't changed. 
Yeah, that's why that was my train of thought earlier. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Uh... No, 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 no. Really prepared to fire SSI? Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing. But when you found that concealed room... Yeah, I mean, they're clearly I involved. strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What yeah. difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. But that doesn't solve the problem that you have been brainwashed. Both of you. Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I see. But that's all I can promise. Okay, this Goodbye. is getting to be a really long episode, but I will finish it. I will meet with Jefferson. Fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of overlapping memories, changing personalities. Yeah, reminds me of you, bitch. You of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. Ah, uh, pretty much. No, their case and ours entirely different. Yeah, actually, it is entirely no, different. Is different. You saw yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. I mean, even in reality, there are whispers about this kind of stuff. And I don't know if I believe it, but I do believe it's possible. I mean, the beauty is manipulation is a very weird game. TV signals, high density emitters, and your electric toothbrush. Well, not like that, I guess, but yeah. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. Well, you do have a point there. Yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. And you are not willing to help. Meet with Jefferson. Okay, just give me a moment to teleport and I'll choose what we answer then and there. And oh, we got a message from uh, Dino as soon as we arrived. Yeah, he's selling us a car. Cool, cool. Don't care. So, Jefferson, you're all the way over there. I mean, Johnny does have a point that a uh, mind control mayor could do more harm than good and possibly would do more harm than good. But on the other hand, as I said earlier, he seems like the type of person that would obsess over it and it would consume him. And wouldn't allow him to be a proper mayor, a proper candidate, a proper politician, a proper husband, and a proper father. So, yeah, this is actually the first in a long time of choices in a games that I don't know how to handle it. I really don't. Let's see what he has to say for all that. I mean, you know, whatever info he has. So, Jefferson, mate. Oh, it's Elizabeth. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you tell him. Oh. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Hey. Or do. You can't change anything. Yeah. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. Can you give me what I want? Playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. What the fuck was that? That was creepy as a horror game. Oh, fuck. Uh, Jefferson, I was on the floor back here. Maybe you could have helped me. No, cool, cool. So, Jeffy boy. Mm, we need to talk. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. What did she tell you? Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth. What did she tell you exactly? About the secret room? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. I guess you got more, though. Ah, poop. Right away to the choice. Damn, this feels weird. V? Yeah, Jefferson, give me a moment. 
I'm gonna go with what I thought earlier, like, it's best if he doesn't know. And not because we had that threatening call just now, but yeah, maybe maybe there is still some of him is in him. Right? No, dude, it's not. Jeez, man. You deserve to be a puppet. No, no, that that was bad to say. Yeah, maybe maybe just go with that option. Strange as it may sound, don't got much. There's got to be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? SSI was taking money from Holt, if corpses could talk. Yeah, let's tell him that uh, information wasn't available due to that. Well, one thing led to another and some lead was fired. No shit. Between you and those spies? Yeah. Yeah, burned to a crisp in their own van. Managed to squeeze one of them before... Uh, he confessed. But his word isn't worth jack now. Okay, okay, we're good at lying. Damn. All right. I'll handle things from here. Jefferson, calm down. Meaning... First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Yeah, do that. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt... Yeah, do that. I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap. Well then, good luck. You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. That's cool. Goodbye, See ya, mate. So, thoughts? Donny? Somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. Yeah, me too. So aliens? No, no. Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So... You are the boyfriend of one. Doesn't matter who or what. Our guys outmatched. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. He's fucked, V. He's fucked either way. So... Yeah, maybe make it a bit easier on him. $13,000. Yeah, whatever, who cares. Okay, that took longer than expected, but what a fucking interesting quest. I really, really loved it. Hopefully we will see some of the repercussions of this, like the results of this, before we finish the game, not just like an end credits info piece on what happened. And for now, we just have two quests left on our map. One is Takemura, which we do need to progress to open up a few others, but... Yeah, we're going to do reverse quest line first. Thank you everybody so very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.